I have some breaking news today about Hyundai. Now, it may not come as a shock to everyone, and it's probably been expected for quite some time, but it affects a far fewer people than you may imagine. If you want to know how long it's going to take for them to fix this problem, what could happen, and a hot tip for Hyundai themselves, then stick around for today's video. Before we get into what the issue is, let's look about what cars may be affected. The ones that are affected are cars that had batteries assembled in the LG Nanjing plant in China. And these affected packs had an issue with the anode tab, which was folded and it could allow plating that would allow the anode to touch the cathode, which would cause a short. Now, this risk can be mitigated, and that's what we're going to discuss in a minute. Let's look at how many cars Hyundai are having to recall. Now, in total, 1,214 cars will be recalled. 1,121 of these are Hyundai Konas, 40, and obviously the 60 kilowatt hour pack. And 93 of these are Hyundai Ionics, which are the new larger battery pack systems. Now, obviously, this is a tiny amount of cars that were produced in the years that these cars are affected. In the grand scheme of things, it is a very, very small amount of cars that Hyundai have produced in both models. So the chance of your car being recalled is relatively slim but i'm going to put a list of the vin numbers affected down below in the description if you're interested to see if one of yours is affected but you should receive a letter pretty much today or in the next two three days so if your car is affected you should know soon but if you want to check the vin numbers down below in the description there is a list of them there but the big question is what could happen how you could stop it from happening, and what is going to happen to get it repaired. Now, to lower the risk of this happening, Hyundai are asking you to limit charging of your car to 90%. Now, you can do this yourself, or you can go to a local Hyundai dealer who will have someone do it for you. It's a fairly simple task that can be done on the car, and in fact, they're not even telling the workshop to do it. Someone from the sales department should very, very easily be able to do that. Now, to limit your charging to 90%, they're also going to give you an incentive to do so. First of all, you'll self-decorate that you've done it, and when you have done that, they will give you free charging on public charging with the Hyundai card with a credit on that card. So you'll get some free public charging for the misuse, basically allowing you to restrict your battery to this 90%. Now, if you're a Kona driver with a 60 kilowatt hour battery, limiting your battery for 90% isn't going to be a great deal. However, if you're an Ionic driver or a 40 kilowatt hour Hyundai driver, you're probably not going to be too bad in the 40 Kona, but in the, in the Ionic battery, which is a much smaller battery, you're probably going to be a little bit annoyed at limiting to 90%. So hopefully this charge card, so rapid charging on that, should make a little bit more difference to going to 90% and restricting your mileage. So what could happen if you don't limit your battery to 90%? What are the risks? And to find this out, I asked the one person in the know, I approached Plug Life Consulting, who have Ewan McTurk, Dr. Ewan McTurk, who is a battery chemist. If you're looking to consult a battery expert as a manufacturer or a company, this is the man they go to. So it's the man I went to for the answers. And he explained, and I'm going to look away from this camera now as I read this very long, complicated script from Ewan, that from the information that I provided him, it sounds like the anode tab is folded on the inside the cell that some lithium plating on the bare copper tab over time rather than inserting into the graphene anode material on the main electrode this process repeated over many charge and discharge cycles results in branches of lithium called dendrites which grow out from the folded anode tab and eventually reach the cathode short circuiting the cell this leads to rapid discharge rapid heat dispiration and proportional fire. Now Ewan has done a great job explaining this to me and all the possible solutions. Now Hyundai, if you're watching this video, he also gave me some great tips, some other things that you could do. And if you're interested in consulting him, that's Plug Life Consulting. I did ask Ewan on what he thinks about the 90% will help lower the risk. And he explained the following. 
Lithium plating should only happen if a battery is charged too quickly with respect to its internal resistance and temperature. This is a result of the anode potential reaching zero volts versus lithium, which means that lithium is no longer inclined to pigeonhole itself onto the graphite anode material, but simple plate on top of it or on top of any bare copper anode tab that can reach as lithium ion battery is charged, the cathode, the positive electrode, potential increases whilst the anode, the negative electrode, potential decreases. Therefore, limiting the maximum charge rate to 90% in theory helps to reduce the chance of the anode reaching zero volts versus lithium. Now, I hope that these technical answers from you and explain it, but basically what what he's trying to say is what Hyundai is saying should help the issue and also that the issue is caused by the dendrites. Now, I do hope that you found that in interesting and you understood it, but if you're wanting Ewan to explain it more, then let me know down in the comments and I'll try and get Ewan on my channel or to make a more in-depth video about this problem on his channel, Plug Life Consulting. Now, Hyundai have set no limit on how long it will take to fix all the affected cars. It's just stated that due to global demand, high voltage batteries that are affected by vehicles will be issued sequentially. In other words, they, they haven't got enough battery packs at the moment to repair all the available vehicles. The repair will mean Hyundai loaning you a car, taking your car away to Tils Tilbury, which is their docking center for a replacement pack. So it will not be done at your local Hyundai dealer. It will be collected from either your house or you'll get a courtesy car from your local Hyundai dealer. And then your physical car will be shipped down to their port and a battery pack will be taken out and replaced and done at Dockside, at Hyundai's main center. So it will not be done at your local dealers. So do prepare, do a bit prepared to be receiving a loan car and your car being sent away to get this repair. It's great that Hyundai have finally narrowed down the cars that are affected. And like I said, the numbers involved are relatively low for the numbers of cars they've sold. It's an also really important to note that the UK has seen no failures. And as far as I'm aware, there has been no fails in the EU either. And it was also noted that they fixed all cars that were built from March 2020 onwards. Hope you found this video entertaining. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page. And also check out some of my other videos. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.